Hello everyone, this is Seller Legal, and today we're going to be speaking about uh, the issue of maternity leave, and we'll be answering, uh, looking at uh, essentially our frequently asked questions of the seven toughest questions uh, about maternity leave that we get asked frequently and, and provide the answers for them. So, jumping right in, let's start with question number one. Do I have to tell a potential employer on an interview I'm pregnant? The answer is, no, you are under, uh, under no obligation. Uh, an employer can't refuse to hire you because of your pregnancy. Uh, an employer can't ask if you are pregnant or plan on getting a child or having a child. Uh, can't be part of the decision-making process. And question number two, I just found out that for the rest of my pregnancy, I need accommodations at work, light duties to be able to sit while working and to, uh, to not lift more than 25 pounds uh, due to my pregnancy. Can I legally expect it from my employer? And the answer is under the PDA, the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, you have a right to equal treatment to, um, uh, to employees who are not pregnant but who have similar ability or inability to work. If you have a pregnancy-related disability, your employer is required to accommodate you under the ADA, the American Disabilities Act. Some states go beyond federal laws to accommodate and protect pregnant workers. Double-check your state laws to, just to be sure what, what applicable regulations apply in your state. And question number three. When can a father take leave for a newborn, or when can a mother take leave for a newborn? Speaking directly about maternity leave. The answer is both parents have the same right to take FMLA leave. Under the FMLA, the, uh, an employee may take up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave. Leave can be taken for prenatal care, incapacity related to pregnancy, after a birth of a child due to employee's health condition. And question number four, can my employer deny me pregnancy leave? The answer is it can depend, but the general rule of thumb is you have a right to be treated as other disabled employees. If your employer grants leave to a disabled employee, you deserve leave for the same period of time when pregnant. Question number five. I'm on pregnancy leave. How does it affect my benefits? The answer is, if other temporarily disabled workers in your, work, in your workplace get benefits from your employer, you're entitled to the same coverage. If you're eligible under the FMLA, your employer is required to maintain your health insurance benefits. And employers who offer employees health insurance must include coverage of pregnancy, childbirth, and pregnancy-related medical conditions. Employers' health insurance benefit plan may not impose Limitations applicable only to pregnancy-related medical expenses. Pregnancy-related medical costs may not be, a subject to a, not be subject to a higher deductible, and it must cover the same percentage of recoverable costs for pregnancy-related conditions. And question number six. Is it legal for an employer to, use, to require a pregnant employee to use her vacation benefits before she can collect sick leave or disability pay? The answer is yes, just in case uh, just in case if your em employer has the same requirements for absence of employees with other types of disabilities or illnesses. You can read more about it here uh, under the calculation of leave under, uh, under the FMLA on our site. Question number seven. I'm about to take intermittent leave. Can my employer change my job while I'm on leave? Your employer may transfer you temporarily to an alternative job, but with equivalent pay and benefits that accommodate your intermittent leave period better than your regular job. And that covers the frequently asked questions about maternity leave that we receive most commonly. Uh, and to learn more about your rights as a pregnant woman in the workplace, visit FloridaOvertimeLawyer.com.